So now we come to the central feature of this course, which is homology. So the first we start with the simplest case, the simplical homology. Uh, so to define this, first we define these uh, delta complex on x. So I'm going to write delta n of x. This delta n x is nothing but the free abelian group with basis as open end simplices E alpha n of x. So since you have done CW complexes, you can have the analogy between the n cell and this n simplex. So since we have, uh, how does this basis look like? How do the elements of delta nx, delta nx look like? They are nothing but uh, some, just like they look like any free abelian group with the basis. So, so if you do not know what a free abelian group is, you should uh, immediately see Wikipedia. So the z alpha is nothing but an integer. Okay, now we need to define the boundary of such a such a complex. Uh, the best way to understand these complexes is to see Hatcher page 105. But these n simplex are pretty easy. So first just see that these are nothing but vertices of the simplex. The boundary operator acting on the vertices of the simplex will has the following formula and then I'm going to draw the simplex so you can see. You can also check page 105 of Hatcher. So I put hat on vi meaning that that vertex is not there in the expression from v0 to vn. What does that mean will be clear in a minute. So let us now write what the n simplex are. Okay, we st first start a zero simplex is just a vertex, just a point. So we will start with one simplex that is the edge. Now the boundary of edge is nothing but two vertices v0 and v1. We draw an arrow from the lower index to higher index. So zero is lower than one. So what is the boundary? I apply the boundary formula. Put a hat on v0 because that is not there. It is missing. Yeah, so this is now we are going to write as v1 because v0 was not in the expression. This is so v1 minus v0. So this takes into account the orientation. Now take a two cell. So this is there is a this is a triangle. Now obviously the boundary of the triangle are the three edges v0 v1 v1 v2 and v0 v2 again the arrows are drawn from lower index to higher index v0 to v2 because 0 is less than 2 and similarly for others so I said the boundary of the triangle is three edges this triangle is filled up it is not hollow so again I just copy the formula down so this is just the edge v1 v2 I put a hat on v0 to say that this is missing this is the edge v0 to v2 and the third one is just the edge v0 to v1 so now we just drop the missing in indices what we get is v1 to v2 the orientation is preserved. We have a negative sign from V0 to V2 and I will show you how to take this into account. And the last one is V0 to V1. So to take this negative sound sign into account, so you just draw an anti-clock map. So V0, V1 and V1, V2 have the right sign, they have a positive sign in front of it. V0, V2 has a negative sign, it is opposite to the 
entire clock symbol. So now I just want to draw a tetrahedron whose uh, faces or whose boundary will be three, four triangles. Yeah, so this I'm not uh, writing down, but you can see it in Hatcher on page 105. So again the arrows are drawn from lower index to higher index. That is pretty much it. Thank you.